because certain things happened in my life, even as I got older, I am now able to share with other people to help them through their healing process or to say, hey, you don't have to go through that alone. I know exactly what that feels like. We can do this together. everyone welcome back to our channel the Soren Seaver family I'm Ivy if you're new here go ahead and smash that subscribe button ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video it is Friday so you know it is happy Friday another Friday mommy moment wait you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment all you need is a moment you guys I am so glad that you are here thank you for continuing to come back and support Friday mommy moments I am so excited but while we talk about moments let's talk about this moment mugs okay yes okay thank you everyone who has been supporting our launch of Seaward Creations. It's so much more to come. And right now we have launched our mugs and I am through the roof. You guys have been supporting. You guys have been leaving comments. You guys have been in my inbox asking me about details. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Let's check out what Seaward Creations have for you. Be sure to check out Seaward Creations at EtsyShop.com where you can get customized Moment Mugs and Moment Mugs designed by the Soren Seaward family. We look forward to sending you your very own Moment Mug. And remember, all you need is a moment. So you guys, God is totally up to something. And if you haven't went and checked out the Etsy shop, go ahead and check it out. Let me know what mugs you would like customized. And I look forward to working with you, yay! Now y'all know, the first thing that we do on Fridays is Friday shout outs. Let's get to it. Today's shout out is going to a perfectly imperfect family. Hi Brittany, can I call you Brit? No, yes, maybe. First of all, I would like to say thank you so much for joining our family and allowing us to come and join your family. You guys, if you have time, please go and check them out. I will leave their link in the description box so you can go and check out a family. I ain't forcing nobody to subscribe or nothing like that, but I'm just saying, go and check them out and tell them that Ivy said hello from the Soren Seaward family. You guys keep on Soren and keep being motivated and I'm really enjoying your channel. Happy 2020. Now let's get into this Friday mommy moment. I don't know about y'all, but y'all know I got my coffee. I got my mug, eh? And we're about to jump right into this topic. Let's go. First, let me say, before we get into this topic, thank you so much for allowing me to be able to come and share with you my truths, my journey, my life, my moments. It really helps me more than you guys know. I'm so glad that God has put you guys in my life and I hope you guys feel the same way. Now a lot of you know, if you have been following us for a while, um, I had a kind of difficult, not kind of, I had a rough childhood. And oftentimes my husband, like when we sit down and we talk about it, he's like, he'll go, he pat me on the shoulder, he's like, babe, I'm so sorry you was robbed of your childhood. And I get emotional, like, and I, and I think about it, and I always, you know, tend to ask God, like, why did that happen? Or, you know, I, I don't know the big picture God, maybe one day you'll tell me, but, I always feel like I missed out on so many things that was out of my control. And I know as I grew up, I made bad choices as a youth, I know that. But it was things that weren't in my control and that other people should have been controlling and parenting and doing. And I really feel at times that I was just really robbed of my youth, my, my childhood, and that's my truth. And I stick by that 100%. But, Recently I was reading, and even though when I look back at my childhood, like, you know, um, my mom said she feels like I only can remember the bad things. And it's like, 
when the bad is so darn bad, it's hard to think about the good. It just outweighs the little that was there. Recently, I was reading in the devotion, it was talking about how certain things have been taken away and certain dreams and things have died in order to produce fruit. At first, it didn't really click with me. I'm like, what are they talking about? Like, you know, that happened and it made sense because and then I started reading more. And then I started applying it to my life and exactly what they were saying. If certain things didn't happen in my life, there would be no fruit from it. Then I got to the part where it says, when you're not living for yourself, when you're living for others, and how God has put us around people and here on earth to do his will. So listen, if you're still with me, listen. If I didn't go through certain things in my childhood where I was robbed of, even though as bad as it hurts, as bad as I hate to think about it and go back there, if those things did not happen, I would have no fruit to produce to my kids. Because these certain things happened while I was a child, I am now able to make sure that don't happen with my kids. Because I didn't have certain things that I needed when I was a kid, I'm able to share those things and make sure and try to put those things in place to the best of my ability for my kids. Because certain things happened in my life, even as I got older, I am now able to share with other people to help them through their healing process or to say, hey, you don't have to go through that alone. I know exactly what that feels like. We can do this together. So if everything was so peachy and so cream, I wouldn't be able to share with other people. How would I be able to relate to somebody who's been broken if I've never been broken? How would I be able to relate to somebody who has failed if I never failed? See, God does things differently and it's all about how we look at how he is moving about in our life. And yes, I can look back at my childhood and I can cry and I can ask why and I can be bitter about it and I can hurt and continue to take the band-aid off that wound or I can take that and allow it to still produce fruit in someone else's life or I can be something to someone because I know what it's like to have nothing and no one. When God puts something in my heart and I'm able to come and share with you, I don't know who it's for, I just know it. that's what he put on my heart to share. So I don't know who's going through something right now or what you're going through, but whatever you're going through and whatever's going on, God has a purpose for that. God is still able to use you. He's still gonna produce fruit somewhere in your life for somewhere else. Even though you might feel dead inside right now in this moment because when we go through things, that's all we see is right there. That's what we're going through. We hurt, we grieve, we weep. So many people are going through so many things right now and it hurts. We can't see the brighter days. We only can see the cloud and the rain. At the time I was a child, that's all I saw. Never down the line did I think that it would produce fruit. So in your time of grieving, in your time of pain, in your time of hurt, which you are allowed to do, don't do it alone, don't do it without God because he's gonna carry you through. And even if you don't see the fruit from it tomorrow, or two weeks from now, next month, a year from now, I guarantee you, if you cling to God and give it to Him, you will see that fruit. Right now, with our own eyes, we can't see when we're in this space of hurt. It's in this space of not understanding. It's hard to see, but hang on to God. Hang on to Him closer than you hang on to anybody else that's in your life, which is hard, which is hard but we must force ourselves to do it every single day because this life we can't do alone. And when I say alone, I don't mean like you have a husband, you have a boyfriend, you have a girlfriend, you have your friends with you. I mean alone, like we can't do it without God. Because living without God to me is very lonely and it's very scary. So that's what I wanted to come and talk to you about today. Because even if you was robbed, hurt, or pain, allow God to use whatever that was so you can produce fruit in your life and in others. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this Friday Mommy Moment because I always love to come and share with you guys what God has put in my heart. 
Until next time, great people. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who? Like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seawood Family Channel, you are needed. Lord willing, I'll be right back here Friday. See ya!